uh, controllers working. Okay, cool. Controllers, good controllers. All right. So there's a kid over there floating with a magical hat. Fantastic. All right, we're back. We're gonna go meet Poppy now. I forgot. We gotta go talk to her about what's it called again? The dragon, right? Gotta go talk about the dra no, no, no. It's about her grandma, dude. Man, I totally forgot. Yeah, we just. We just, uh, what is it? We just started masquerading. We just finished masquerading as, um, what's his face? Professor Black, or Headmaster Black, rather, because he's the headmaster of Hogwarts. Of course he freaking is. So now we gotta go. That, that was actually pretty funny, though. <laughs> Yay. Hogwarts. Hufflepuff wins this year, baby. Uh, <laughs> so now I gotta go talk to Poppy because, uh, her grandma's, uh, yeah, you know, Poppy, Grandma Poppy, God, was Poppy Grandma, I, just, I don't even know the title. <laughs> She's in trouble, and we gotta Mysterious go help out Poppy. Ah, uh, yes, that, uh, that tomb that we just flew past that we've already explored me? Yes, of course. It is creepy and unsettling. I forgot what you said, which is fine, you know? But anyways, happy Thursday, everybody. It is very cloudy outside. Uh, thankfully no tornadoes <laughs> you remember remember that last time that one episode where i was talking about tornadoes and like that dream and uh, apparently there was a tornado in a nearby town uh that happened but thankfully still haven't been hit thankfully thank goodness for that don't want to have to deal with that hey there's some deer over here hey what's up poppy so yeah no we're good it's not even raining this. i can do this they will want to help who Oh, the centaur! <laughs> I forgot, we're about to fire the centaurs. the centaurs. Oh boy. Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise. I ah, throwing, <laughs> throwing a surprise party, you know, that's everybody loves that, especially those that you don't really know of. <gasps> oh, we're so dead. <laughs> <laughs> they'll understand they won't like let's be optimistic for poppy's sake all right they'll understand i think once we tell them about the snidgets they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help i yeah. hope you're right yeah perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere there's something about them that's so knowing it's almost unnerving uh, is it because of their massive pecs, bro? I mean, goddamn, dude. If I had pecs, if I had boobies like those, I'd be showing them off every day. <laughs> Anyways, centaurs are known for being wise. They don't know any more than the rest of us. Uh, they're known for being wise, yeah. I mean, they're more into nature, right, dude? Freaking hippies. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... Never mind. What is it? Okay, it's yeah, what nothing, is it, huh? Truly. I've... We've no secrets to hide. You sound That's like right. you do have a secret to we'll hide, huh? What you hiding from me? What we're huh? trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. Oh my god. We'll Poppy's going to betray me, dude. She's going to feed me to I'm the centaurs. Sure what what happened? I didn't skip. I didn't do that. What 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 did it what I didn't skip that. What is Oh, we're dead. We're dead meat. We're just uh oh. Oh, oh yeah, we're so dead. <laughs> Wait, actually, you know what? <laughs> she's smiling. She's like, <laughs> she's like, this is amazing. Uh oh. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please. That is a very good question. We were hoping to speak with you. Ah, I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, never. Um, wait, hold on now. We're here because we need your help. Enough. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. Oh, thank goodness. Someone that's you more rational. Please, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. Ah, uh, the arrogance of From the young. I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Uh oh, he doesn't look that old. I, mean, I wish I looked Mark that old when I'm words, like Doran. 70 years old or if something. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yo, where are the lady centaurs at, though? <laughs> Foolish. Oh, that's. Ooh. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. Yeah. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. 
Please help us find the snidgets before the poachers do. I look so worried. <laughs> I'm so scared. In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. Oh. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Must be nice to be 70 years old and fit like that. Fit as fuck, bro. I wish. I hope that someday. I don't <laughs> understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight. But to a moonstone. Wait, the stuff that I've been collecting for, like, for my, con for my, for my, for my so furniture? About where we could find one. Uh, listen, I already have so much of that. Yeah, isn't moonstone common? Yeah, ain't it? It's, I trust him. Centaurs know things. He's annoyingly cryptic. Yeah, is is it moonstone common, dude? Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Yeah, what the hell? Centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. Oh, we'll fair enough. Know it when we see it. Okay, cool. Uh, I I trust him. Let's trust him. He's old and fit as hell, dude. Oh, what a man. I don't know, <laughs> but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That is a good. I, I totally forgot. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we don't. I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head What's to the, the other one? Elk. 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 I don't know. He's more because more. He's more like a freaking deer, dude. Haha, <laughs> <you know, laughs> him. Deer than a centaur. Freaking weakling. Weak ass. Okay, what's going on? I wasn't paying attention. Uh. Oh my god! I actually wasn't paying attention. Are we good? Poppy, are we good? A basis for black. Oh, okay. I, I'm, assum <laughs> I'm assuming we're good. I'm gonna just fly away now. I'm gonna go talk to Natty. I guess. We'll, I guess we'll just have that nice little cutscene. Okay. I hope my game didn't suddenly break again like that one time. Oh my goodness, that would be awkward. Equip gear that you found to improve your combat efficiency. No need to. I don't need. No. Okay. Oh, 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 that's a huge cliff face. <laughs> I was not paying attention. I, I don't need no gear right now because I can just, I, cause I'm good. You know, I'm just that good. Just saying, just saying. I'm very good. I'm a good wizard. I, that be, why is, why do I have, oh, okay. My, uh, my broomstick bar over there was glowing for a second and I don't exactly know why. Oh, here we go. Is it because I'm holding down the trigger? I don't. I don't exactly know. I, I don't. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> All right, Natty, what you want to talk about again? I completely forgot you about your storyline. Put an end to Harlow. Harlow. Oh shoot. Oh. Oh yeah, that guy. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, we're, we're gonna stop him now, sweet. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. Oh. I know you have a plan. We oh must boy. Gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. I right. do not remember any of this. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. Oh my god, and they're just chilling there, dude. I would never go near the Hogshead. She is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Ah, doing it behind mother's back, I see. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> uh, where can I find him again? Hogshead, right? Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rib, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Philbert. I do not know and any Otto of these people. Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. Oh wait, no, do I have to like find him first and then go talk to Natty over at the hog's head? Oh, that's fair enough. I, I think I'm starting to patch things together because I'm not paying attention, dude. What am I what am I supposed to get from them, huh? What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? Yeah, they what are they supposed to tell evidence me? Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. Oh. We simply need to know whatever they know. Alright, I shall probe them until they spill it. Gotcha. I will speak with them. Yeah. Very well. Let us talk to I'll them. Speak with them. See what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. <laughs> I, uh, I am the chosen one. Blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Oh, we gotta see if they're blackmailed. Okay. The and my controller return, disconnected, dude. I will be able to move a bit more freely. Hey, don't worry, N Natty. We're, we'll make sure you'll be ungrounded by then. What am I doing? I can't fly in freaking hog speed. 
And oh, okay. I thought I thought my controller disconnected there for a second. I don't know why he stopped. <laughs> he just stopped for no reason. Okay. Uh, so who who am I talking to first? Which one's this one? Who's fifty meters away from me? Oh, sorry. Hiccup. Burp. Hiccup. Burp. Burp. Hiccup. Okay. The three broomstick. Ah, uh, yeah. Should be nearby. Hey, what's up, Serona? I know you have a side quest, but listen, I ain't gonna do it <laughs> because because uh, I'm already oh, indisposed. What have I done? What? Who? Hi. What's up, Miss Daisy Rabe? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. Yeah. I'm a friend of the Bickles, and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Yeah. Oh, Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. God damn it, not another freaking kidnapping, man. I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Oh, Jesus. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And uh, of course declined? he is. Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone. And a note affixed to my door with a knife. Oh, great. All right. Freaking fantastic. <laughs> a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs. And that my husband oh. would appreciate it if I acted quickly. Oh, my gosh. Not another Carlo kidnapping, bro. That I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. All right. All right. I'll get your goddamn husband back. I can't believe this. Natty, <laughs> why are you turning me into a freaking... <laughs> A detective man. Okay. Anyways, why why would Harlow take your husband, not you, huh? huh? Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. Oh, I'm oh, okay. the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Oh, for freaking blackmail! Yeah, I hate to hear that. Anyways, uh, I was, I'm actually not paying attention, but you know, I'm trying, kind of getting the gist of it. As for why I'm not paying attention, listen, I just woke up from like a bit of a nap. Okay, I did some. Uh, I actually, you know, I've been drawing. I've been getting back to drawing again, which is quite nice. I'll probably do it as a hobby, not necessarily anything big or special. So we'll see how that goes. Just went back there, you know. My creative juices are still flowing, you know, <laughs> and um. Yeah, my, I feel like all my neurons are going off at, all at once, so... Well, anyways, what are we... Have, have you seen Harlow? Given any... Uh, I, what, how, how, how do I read this? <laughs> have you given Harlow any information about Gringotts? Yeah, and it... Freaking... Have you helped, Harlow, are you helping him, dude? Taken. Can I arrest no, you? I'm worried sick about Isco. Oh, you're clear. You you're in the clear, ma'am. compromise ma my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Mmm, because he's not the chosen one, bro. Uh, look at this face. That's that's the chosen one. <laughs> I'm not even looking at her. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Does the note confirm kidnapping, huh? Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? Does it say, what I have your husband? Mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. Not the daisies. <laughs> But those were Isco's pride and joy. Then that means he, he really was. Have let that happen. Remember, if your daisies have been trampled outside, that means someone's been kidnapped from your home, as <laughs> I guess. Anyways, that's that's all I need. Let's go find Thank him, you, I guess. Mr. God damn it. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Yeah, Hickam disturbing because he messed us. with those daisies, but now dude. He's gone. I don't know what to do. I just realized I your name is Daisy, Mrs. Rabe. Wow. Mrs. Rabe. Very it well. must be symbolic. I, I bet you the writers were like, oh, there careful. we go. We did it, folks. Please don't put yourself in danger. Uh-oh, I hear a siren in the distance. Oh, no. This, there's something going on. Oh, what's this? Hey, the note. Uh, this... That sounds really close. Uh, God damn. I feel like there's a lot of <laughs> fire trucks going around recently. Anyways, Mrs. Rabe. Uh, uh, let's see. Wait, how, how would their voice be? Um, ooh, I know. Let's give them, make them pretentious. Mrs. Rabe, we do hope you will reconsider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. Shall we expose a response? What the fuck did I just read? What? Oh, no, okay. I got <laughs> um, <clears throat> Shall we expect a response by week's end? Best to keep this between us if you under and oh my god, what is wrong with me today? If you understand our meaning, <laughs> dude, I can't so even read anymore. What is happening? Oh, I 
hope it's not too late. Uh, yeah. Now, to find Mr. Bickles are the two friends. Okay, so I, I fingers crossed. I, it, I just have to find what's his face, and I don't have to deal with the other two, right? I hope so. I, I just hope these two, Otto and Agabus, they just give me a note and be like, oh yeah, here's the evidence for blackmail. Okay, thanks, bye. Uh, so that way I can just focus on rescuing Mister Rabe. I should check there. Glad. Okay, is he outside or is he inside? I can't tell, dude. Uh, he's outside. Please tell me you didn't take it, but perhaps it's been here all along. I'm gonna just take that knapsack real quick. Yoink, 21 galleons. Thank you very much, Mr. Dibble. <laughs> Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. Yeah. I nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, what the hell sir, is a cravat? I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. I did. You know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. Who's Mr. Mr. Hill? Hill? He was kind to me the day of the Oh, the, the shop owner. He was Duh. a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. Oh. I was distracted, reading a note, when you know who came into the shop. Voldemort! No, wait, never mind. And off to help. <laughs> he stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. Wow, how inconspicuous. Note. It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. Oh, yeah, congratulations. Ain't that I spicy? Aren't that. you a spicy yeah. dog? <laughs> uh, terms, must be nice. <laughs> Not to mention my employment here depended upon my cooperation. What does he I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention, so he's... Oh, I see. So quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. I see. He said, Your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. Oof. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping. But I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Oh my goodness, they're using love against him. How could they? All right, Theophilus Parlo is dead to me. I mean, he's already gonna be dead to me. But anyways, about the note, huh? Can I see that dang note? Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me Let's to Just give it to me. It, I, I you it. don't have to tell me. It's just give it to me, dude. Special pink <laughs> It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. R.H. I, okay, cool. Uh, let's, let's see, how are you hiding the extortion again? Creative bookkeeping, you said, if I remember correctly, huh? What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Yeah. Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Oh my gosh, that hurts my soul. This bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. Oh my god, if I had to dip to my own savings just to cover, oh my god. I, listen, your job should pay you. You should not pay your job. It shouldn't be the other way around, all right? Just telling you, it's capitalism, man. Anyways, what am I the, what the fuck am I talking about? Mr. Hill seems like a fair man. Can't you just tell him, huh? Can't you just tell him that your that his daughter is kidnapped and is being extorted and that you're running the store's like resources down to the ground? You're putting it in the red, bro? That sounds terrible. Don't tell him. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. <clears throat> he was kind to me. Didn't I just say this? Why Wait. Why don't you just tell him? Isn't this the same? Lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd seen this as a grave betrayal. I felt like I already said that same statement, but this is a different, like, answer. Rosie as well. <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyways, thanks for ta talking to me, huh? Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban. Yeah, send him to Azkaban. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Okay, wait, so wait, so he's memorized it? So can't can you give it to Mr. me? Hill returns. Where was I? Okay, just We're on the right track. Okay. Okay. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. I was hoping he would just give it to me, but that's fine. You know, I just come to realize if Harlow yeah, Harlow definitely knows the killing curse. How the hell am I supposed to block that? You know, I don't have mama, like, uh, giving me that love spell from Harry Potter, you know? That help, that love protection, you know? She didn't kill her. She didn't sacrifice herself to keep me alive. I don't have no lightning bolt as a scar. So how the hell am I supposed to do I guess I can just dodge it. 
that's one way, I guess. Still, but must be around here somewhere. It's, I suppose. I don't know. It's I. <laughs> I it's, we'll we'll hey, see. Phil. You know. Hello. Hey, what's up, Agabus? Aren't you looking me, inconspicuous? I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. Mm -hmm. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Mm -hmm. oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. Oh, what did he do? I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. Okay, what? <laughs> you were wise not to speak out. He should have spoken out. Hmm. Hmm, should I be... Hmm, how what would what would a Hufflepuff say? Listen, if I was if I were a Slytherin, I would have I, I would have been like, you should have spoken out, you should have fought back, dude. You're a freaking spineless buffoon. Why do I wow? Why do I keep thinking like a Slytherin? <laughs> As, listen, I swear I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm a puff boy for crying out loud. Please, I swear. Uh, you were wise not to speak out for your own safety. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow as he requested. Yeah. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Did he push Before you down the my stairs? my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. Oh my god, he As stole it, bro. I swear. Birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate. I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. He stole it. One day, he stole it. Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found oh, yeah. the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. Now I want it. I want to see it. I want to keep it. <laughs> no, just... I want to sell it. With the book, laughing as he went. Can't you believe? Can't you imagine the amount of galleons that thing has? Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Off as a singer? <sighs> Singer? Singer? I, I, don't, no I don't even know. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Will do. Also, is, is it me or does this guy, Harlow, or does this guy have cross eyes talking, this whole time? I don't... As you already know. I don't, I I don't even know. I Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. All right, Natty. Okay, let's go uh, meet up at the Hog's Head. How do I get to the Hog's Head again? I don't even remember where the Hog's Head is. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll just we'll just follow the waypoint. I guess I should just stop, you know, talking and just get you know. But you know, if if I stop talking, it's gonna get boring. It's just, what do you think this is a gameplay gameplay only? No 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 commentary channel? Absolutely not. You've come to the absolute wrong place. All right, go watch IGN or something. <laughs> Burned. Anyways, Natty. It's not like Natty to be late. What the? F she said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Okay, I should have just gone to Hogshead instead, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh, is this Sebastian? Look, they got a Slytherin over here. Nah, that's not Sebastian. That's He's too tanned for, to be Sebastian. <laughs> uh, but we all know that Sebastian likes hide, uh, spending his time in his hidey hole, studying that uh, book of curses from, Slyther from Slytherin's um, uh, scriptorium, you know? Kind of freaking... Oh! <gasps> Oh, oh my god, Accio, hold on first off, flying book, flying page, I mean not book, where is it? Accio. Found it, and then we're gonna use the disillusionment, because that's just 500 galleons right there, folks, 500, noink. Oh, hey, there's a, uh, Lumos thing too, I don't wanna do that. Alright, uh, disillusionment, yoink, nah, come back in, let me get over, I cannot, okay, how do I, what the fuck, I'm trapped, never mind, I'm not trapped, I'm good. It must be around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, where is... I'm... Uh, this is it, right? Yeah, this is the hog's head. Okay, so, Natty. Oh, she just... Oh, she's out here? Maybe? Natty? Natty Onai's wand? Excuse me? <laughs> um, uh, Natty's that's... Wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Uh-oh. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Oh, no. What happened to Natty? Not Natty, dude. If it was Sebastian, I would have just let them keep Revelio. him. But not Natty. And definitely not Poppy. I swear, if some, <laughs> if somebody kidnapped Poppy, I'm gonna, I've, I'll, I'm gonna thirst for blood. I will see blood. Blood will come out of my enemy's uh, eyeballs. I swear. Little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> what, what was that? Whoa, whoa! You're a dark wizard. What? I didn't even see you there. Oh my god! Only a dark wizard can just <laughs> stand there. You know? What? What, what is this? 
Ew, that's a spit jar. Gross. I don't want it. I don't want to interact with that. That's nasty, dude. Okay. Uh. Natty, did you go this way? Oh, uh, <gasps> cellar. Taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Dude, you got freaking kidnapped to the freaking basement, bro. That is that is scary, man. Don't worry, Natty. I'm here to save you. This room. There must be another way forward. Oh my god, there's a secret room downstairs. Akio. Ah, uh, that did nothing. How about this one? Akio. Oh, do I have to pull them both together towards me? Okay, that one's pulled. How about this one? Is it just like a locking mechanism, I'm assuming? The hidden door. Did it! Okay, that wasn't Ratty optional. Must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Wait. Otto Dobby's love letter, Agabus Philibert's book of poems. Wait. Oh, 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 can I do it all in here? I think we, I can do it all in here, which is great. Okay, I can go get all the stuff here. Uh, let's swap to this one. This, uh, the spell, spell, uh, group. Let's be sure I'm not seen. Uh, how about, no, we're just gonna keep going. Okay. Natty? Who's that down there? No, don't do that. Uh oh, where's Natty? Is that Natty? That's not Natty. <laughs> not at all. Okay. Uh, let's go grab the stuff. Let's just go downstairs here. Uh, what was that? Did, it, did they hear me? Did they hear my loud footsteps? Uh, Ashwinder assassin. I can just delete that guy. You know what? Let's do that. Deleted. Smack, smack, smack. <laughs> As, oh my god, can you just imagine you're just standing there, then, you're, then your buddy next to you just starts flying like that? I would be scared. Oh! Oh my god, you saw those perfect blocks? Those wonderful perfect blocks? Man, this guy's tough. Woo! That guy was super tough. I don't exactly know why. Ow! I'm okay. Oh, perfect blocks. Stupefy. Fantastic. I don't see their, um... Yeah, I don't see their, uh, health bar. There it is. Oh, please, please don't hurt me. Oh, I've been incendioed. Um, uh, just, uh, let me just take, ow. Hey, hold on. Everybody relax. I'm gonna just delete this guy. Ashwinder soldier, done. Yeah, you made a great mistake kidnapping, uh, ouch. Kidnapping Natty, ow. Hold on, everybody. Oh, don't beat me up. You're way too close. <laughs> what is happening? That guy died. I, oh my God, hold on. Everybody relax. Okay, so that guy got team killed. I mean, I'll take that. Ooh, don't hurt me. Let me hurt you, though. Okay, let's go for the boss, I guess. Or, you know, I can't hit her anymore? Excuse me? Is she okay? okay what is happening? Ow! Expulso. Yeah, why can't I see the health bars on these guys? That's kind of strange. But, you know, whatever, I guess. Bombarda. Whoa! I'm okay. I have so many Wiganwell potions, dude. This is, I need a warm-up. <laughs> Yeah, that's not fair. I I forgot. She, I I can't. Okay, what am I what am I even doing anymore? Am I dead? Potion. Um, what is even this Arm and Ashwinder executioner? This preparing their lightning spell. Fantastic. Will do. I mean, I will not. But you know. Eh, good bingo. Okay, she's dead. Infamous foes down. Ashwinder executioner. Dude, they have so much HP. That is ridiculous. Uh oh, don't do that. Oh, no wonder why it's taking me ages, dude. Oh my gosh, they have they have way so too much HP. Whoa, I didn't mean to teleport like that. That's kind of scary. I'm okay, though. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, Expelliarmus? I can... Oh, I need to disarm him as he's doing the lightning spell. Okay, I can do that. Bombarda. Do a bit of a Bombarda. Okay, let me see. Are you going to do the lightning spell? <laughs> Okay, fair enough. That's I guess that's one way to do it. Damage a frozen enemy. I couldn't do that anymore because I just defeated everybody. Oh, what is this? I what? You are as dear to me as an augury whose voice foretells the coming rain. You are as love. Oh wait, this is a freaking poem. Ooh, I guess I I guess uh, I'll just do a poetic voice. I guess. Let me see. <clears throat> you are as dear to me as an augury whose voice foretells the coming rain. You are as loved by me as a croup could be, whose loyalty is true and plain. You have cast a spell over my heart. 
I want it not undone. You have charmed me from the very start. You have always been the one. Dulcie Bella Filbert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, that's pretty good in my opinion, I think. I don't freaking know. Oh, this is the book of poems that he freaking made it turn to gold or something. I don't... I'm not even paying attention, dude. What was that? Who am I? I don't... <laughs> I, okay, whatever. Ceramic mask. Got it. Okay, uh, listen. Natty, you're gonna relax. You gotta chill out for a bit, okay? Because I gotta go... I gotta go find all the optional stuff real quick, okay? Let's see, open this up, unidentified face item, bro, fantastic, love that, that's like my favorite item in the fucking game, it's just an unident- oh, great, <laughs> I see, uh, I did not expect- oh, great, again, um, Depulso, Accio? No, Depulso again, eh, okay, there we go, Jesus, took, took a long enough, okay, and it's still blocking- go away! <laughs> He's stupid great. All right, here we go. Is this a secret room of some sort? Can I get like some goodies? Like preferably some more items that I can sell and or improve my stuff with? Okay, I can sell that. Uh, yeah, that was great. Okay, what a waste of my time. <laughs> okay. Uh, where, where the hell is this stupid love letter? Uh, huh? Freaking love letter. Love letter, where are you? That what? Oh, it's the freaking mermaid thingy magic that we saw in what's her face's class, the defense against the dark arts teacher. I forgot her name. It's been so long since I've been to class. Like, what's the point of going to Hogwarts if you're not e if I if I'm not even gonna be in class to begin with? You know, <laughs> that's I guess that's like college for you. Am I right? Wasted, uh, wasting your time and spend wasting your money. <laughs> Uh, too real? Too real, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it depends, I guess, really. Hey, I got a Deary Claw. I got a freaking Dodo statue uh, that I can put in my freaking, what's it called? Um, thingamajig. Thingamabob. Thingamajig. Okay, that was scary. What was that? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go. Okay, what? What is that sound? I don't even know what that sound is. So, I'm just gonna go underneath here. Underneath is great. So, uh, so I can ca so I can get whatever secrets is down here. Sounds good. Excuse me, rats. Please don't bite me and give me some ammonia or something. Uh, what's it called? Rabies. That's the word. Revelio. Revelio. Is there anything in here? No. Uh, but oh, we gotta go. We can go upstairs here. Fair enough. Okay. Anything up here though? Found a chest over there. Sounds Gucci. Yoink. Loosen black and white pinstripe. Pinstripe scarf. Okay. I mean, that's that's more money, I guess. I, I'll take that. Uh. He must be his son. I don't want to go that way. Nope, nope. We're not going that way just yet. Can I hit? Is that a target practice? Like, nope, that did nothing. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Revelio. Everybody relax. Revelio. Uh, I see something up there. Oh, that's where I came from. Did I seriously miss out on something up there? Ooh, ooh that's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, I'm just. I have some money over there. Uh, I saw a chest up here. I don't even know where the stupid love letter is still. I hope I didn't miss out on it, because I'd love to get that back because I'm already here, you know. I, I found it! <laughs> Let's see, uh, what's it say? Oh, RH. Ah, oh, look at that. That's just imprinting right there. Uh, my darling. Oh, my darling Otto. I have read your last letter over and over and I'm certain to read it again each hour until we are able to meet. <gasps> wow, that's a long sentence. I dread the notion that I will not see you soon, but I am not without hope. I long for the day that our engagement can be shared with those whom we love, especially my dear father. I do not wonder at your wanting to wait until you are more settled, my love. And I know that you are doing all that you can to ensure that such a situation is within your grasp. <laughs> I feel like my voice is breaking. <laughs> Please allow me to say that these past months of being unable to share publicly the feelings which exalt me to the most, most pinnacle of happiness has been an existential challenge indeed. What in the world? <laughs> Where are the commas? <laughs> what a sentence. <laughs> and now I am off to read your letter once more. You're affectionately Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that was a really long sentence. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Oh, okay, cool. Should I destroy it? I don't even know anymore. All right, Natty, now it's your turn to be saved. Okay, what if I write you a love letter? Ha, <laughs> sorry, Natty, I'm taken. <laughs> I'm <laughs> high wings, my one and only true love. <laughs> Oh, that's Mr. Rabe? 
Oh, okay, cool. I, sweet. I, we found Mr. Rave, too. Thank God I don't have to worry about that. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, listen, Natty, you're you're not important right now, okay? Mr. Rave is the one we're looking for, so therefore he gets first treatment, okay? Hey, what's up, Mr. Rave? Mr. Rave. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should have talked to Natty because he was he had the um, mission objective on him, so. How is Whoops. She? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. That's a nice suit, by the way, my These dude. And a nice fedora. And there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with one less magic cannot free us. Oh. I need you to find my oh, I forgot she can do one less one less magic. Find yours together once you're out of there. I need my one for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly. Yeah, what the heck? Detection. Yeah, I silly me. Freaking the wand chooses the wizard, it silly. Be. It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Okie dokie. I Your will find it. Uh, no, I have dude freaking he just stopped. <laughs> Alright, hey Natty, you want your wand back? You want your wand back? No? Alright, fine, whatever. God. <laughs> Alright, where's this stupid ass wand? Revelio. Oh! Would you look at that? It's invi it was invisible. Could be in there. What is this? Alahamora. Ah. Uh, okay, so the, the 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 lock over there is up top. Yeah, okay. Oh, where is it? Oh, they're both up top. Okay, cool. Good to know. Did it. Done it. Unlocked. Mr. Rave's wand. I found the wand. I'm glad to have this back. Okay, cool. Good. Revelio. Ding. 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 Also, there's a chest down there, and I want it. Okay, it's going further away from me, so I'm assuming it's in the jail cell. Yeah, it's in the jail cell. All right, folks, be uh, <laughs> Mr. Rave, Natty. Uh, give me just a second. I found a big ass chest over here. And I got complete garbage. Fantastic. You love to see that. <laughs> uh, you love to see that freaking time and effort wasted just like that. All right, Mr. Rape, relax. I can feel you gnawing your way out of that do that cell. All right, here's your freaking Rape, wand. I found, I found well it. Done. I knew it was nearby. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. of course you did. Stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Okay, fair enough. That's I, I'm going to be right up close. You got this. Don't worry. I believe in you. Did you miss? I think you missed. No, you didn't. All right. Fantastic. That wasn't that bad. Thanks, Mr. Rabe. You're, you're, you've done good. You've done real good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this excites me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, Mr. Rabe's going to open this too, huh? All right. God damn, are you a master at freaking unlocking magic, dude? That's impressive. Hey, Miss no oh, Nai, Miss Natty. You, yeah, I'll just call you Natty. You want your freaking wand back, dude, so you can help me out? We owe our lives to your bravery. Ah, uh, yes, of course. To separate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Yeah, we'll be fine. Very well, but be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, there Be he goes. For a fight. These ash winders must pay. You want your wand back? Did you already get your wand back, dude? I you did I you, I did you didn't see me I didn't see you take your wand back. Alright, just ignore me, I guess. Freaking cold shoulder treatment. Oh fine. It's not like I just saved your ass or anything. Oh wait! Before we leave, I forgot. Um, ding! There's there's a ding -a ling somewhere. I heard it. I hear it. I hear this shit. Where is it? What the fuck? Okay, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> okay, we're out of here then. Freaking, what the hell, man? It's so weird. It's like, I can hear it, but as soon as I step out here, it's gone. Yeah, it's, it's, what the fuck? Okay, I don't, I don't even know anymore. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Alright, find a way out of the Ashwiner's hideout. We'll just go straight, we'll just go out the exit, right? Straight up. Don't over, don't overcomplicate things. Just, just walk out. We've already beat the crap out of them, so it's it's not like we're just gonna you know it's not like there's gonna be any reinforcements. It's not like Ranrock or Ranrock's gonna send any because you know they'll be busy. Exactly, am I right? See what I tell you? It's, see, you just, just go out the freaking front door. That's all you need to do. If you're that, this is why sneaking is completely overrated. Okay, so if you can just fight your way out of there, dude, then you got yourself an Let's easy find exit. Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for.
Yeah, let's send him to Azkaban. I'm sorry to interrupt you there, Natty, but you know, as a freaking loading screen, am I right? It gets all of us. Oh, hi! Wow, she's already out here waiting for us, huh? Fantastic. Thank Next you, Mr. I Rabe. I. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. That's me. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. What a title, dude. I feel that's I feel strong with that title. Not really. <laughs> Isco Anyways. told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you too. Yeah, I should have. Mr. Rabel right. He is. I sent him home to his wife. Ah, Miss good. Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, off the Wow. Oh, I Natty forgot. Uh oh. Several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashfinders. Ooh. In you tell him. To you tell her. Mr. I mean. To blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Ah. Uh. I will look into all of that. I feel like she's an inept As for the two of you, horror. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Hell no, you're too slow as fuck. Wait, what did I just say? You're too slow as fuck. I feel like that's completely redundant, but whatever. I uh, Listen, the authorities haven't been much help, bro. I mean, that's the truth. But anyways, I understand, ma'am. I'm a Hufflepuff. I will be, I will stick to the good side. I will be a very good puff boy. <laughs> yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Yes, well, do you, ma'am? certainly a good start. Oh, of course you don't. See. But you can leave this to me now. All right, cool. That's I. You may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. Oh, shit. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. All right. Good luck, Natty. Good luck being ungrounded. I, I can't help you there, dude. I'm s <laughs> I have no parents. <laughs> Actually, wait. Do I even have any parents, dude? I don't... What is my family? I don't even remember anymore. Uh, it's, it's, it's fine, you know. I'm a, I'm a fifth year. 